Hey Capricorns, on a level of from one to 10, how confident do you feel right now? So I'm Amanda and I am going to be doing the Capricorn Sun Moon Rising. I'm gonna do an intuitive divination read. So I've been pushing myself to do this. You guys know I'm an Aries, I'm a very strong Aries and I really like doing new things. So this is something that I wanted to put myself out there and do. So I'm pushing myself. But this is about Capricorns. This is for the Caps. And I can't believe the Aries here is actually um, doing Capricorns first because if you know, you know. I mean, I'm an Aries. Like, they want to be first. <laughs> but growth, right? Okay, so I actually have so much going on here. Okay, so I want to explain to you guys first how I do my reads. Okay, so I got my notebook because I got a ton of notes for Capricorns. I don't want to miss anything when I was doing my prepping. I, I like to use a bunch of different decks. So if you're coming for me for a reading, um, I like to get into your energy. I like to do like a 15 minute Reiki boost. I like to dive into your chart and see what elements you have or what's lacking in your chart. And then I use divination. So I like to use all kinds of things to really get to know you so I can read you and read your cards on the level that I need to, okay? So this is for Capricorns. We got some goddess, we got some herbs, we got some chakra, we got some tarot, we got some Tatiana's. I'm also listening to music because anybody who knows me knows that I use music for channeling messages. So I haven't really heard anything yet, but when a lyric stands out, I will know that's for somebody here. So Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, this is for you. All right, here we go. So I'm going to start with the Goddess Oracle because it is Moon Day Goddess Day and there is a very strong theme in the cards um, of moon energy. And just for Capricorns, I really feel this year that you're really meant to try and follow that lunar cycle because the goddess you got is all about the moon. She represents the moon and it comes up later in this reading. So we got Mama Kila, the moon. Okay. I'm going to read, it's going to be a, we're probably looking at 10, 15 minutes here, guys. So I'm going to do a bunch of reading. There's going to be intuitive demos. There's going to be numerology, like everything. Okay. So bear with me as I get into my flow of doing this. All right. So there's an empowerment message and then there's an alignment message. So I feel it's important to know this because this is for the 2024 year and overview for you, some insight. So I want to give you as much information that I can in this short amount of time, okay? And again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, Mom Kila, the Incan goddess of the moon, presides over the power of cycles and seasons. The moon rules the night sky, returning full 13 times in a year. The ancients mark time by the moon to know when to plant, when to harvest, when to store food, and when to celebrate fertility. Right now, you are being invited to see what is familiar and decide whether you need to improve on it or leave things as they are. The answer to your inquiry can be found in the timing of things and the cycle you're in. You can apply the idea of natural cycles to relationships, creative projects, personal growth, and more. If you are honest with yourself, you will see there is no way to control these cycles, only to use the creative energy they offer to help you. That's how I started my journey and like how I've manifested things into my life is following that moon. And I love the moon. And that's why I want to really share all this message for you guys, because following the moon is magical. All right. If your relationship is unclear yet brimming with potential, you might turn to the new moon energy that shows up in the spring of life. We got a new moon coming up this week on Thursday, Thursday morning. In that case, you just need to allow the relationship to grow naturally and be clear in your intentions. When your outer world seems to be slowing down with obstacles rising up and temporarily blocking your every move, do not put up a resistance. Instead, take advantage of the need to rest and recalibrate your intentions as you wait for the cycle to change. No matter what, like the cycles of the moon, there is divine order in everything that is happening in your life right now. Once you know this, the goddess Mamakila welcomes you to her divine moon dance of co-creation. So she wants you to co-create with the universe and that's what we're here for, right? All right, so now there's an alignment message. Sometimes you feel out of sync with life, 
frustrated that the universe isn't providing what you desire? Do you want what you want exactly how you want it and when and feel like the great goddess is ignoring you? You may be, sorry, you may be wanting something to happen faster than it's meant to occur. Remember the conditions of your life are temporal and ever changing. Maybe, you're, maybe you've just been unaware of the cycle you're in and so you've been missing the signals. The moon goddess knows the cycles intimately and she'll let you know when it's time for the next phase. So the next phase is on Thursday morning, guys. <laughs> on your moon, witch. Um, Mama Kila is always on track with the, create, the cycles of creation and you must trust this wisdom. Her alignment task for you is to recognize and work with the natural cycle you are in. You will be amazed as alignment with the rhythm of the universe allows you to again co-create consciously and surrender to life on life's terms. What a beautiful dance when Mama Kila offers you her support. So these are Colette Baron Reed. These are the Goddess Oracle. So I just want to make sure before I go ahead that I'm not missing any notes that I kind of wrote down when I was reading that earlier. Um, but there's definitely a theme of calling in that moon energy and knowing where the cycles are, right? And I'm not just saying this because I have awakened the divine and that's basically what we do every morning. But I truly believe in it and I truly believe that for Capricorns, that is definitely something that you are meant to at least do a little bit of reading. Be open-minded to it, okay? All right, so then I went ahead and I did a herbal deck. I'm just trying to make sure that I got this in the right order here now. It's not really that big of a deal anyway. Um, so the herbal deck, I wanted to get you guys a herbal card because I want to bring in as much as I can, like I had mentioned. So for Capricorns, we have St. John's Wort. So it's about illumination. And there is a quote here and it says, God appears and God is light to those poor souls who dwell in the night, but does a human form display to those who dwell in realms of day, William Blake. All right, so this here to me, like the what I'm really picking up on for Capricorns, because it wants us to make sure we have balance and it wants us to make sure like we have balance with our masculine and feminine within ourselves, okay? Um, and it says here, women use St. John's wort oil for protection during the moon cycle. So the moon cycle is coming up again. And these, there's two pages here and I just looked at moon cycle. That's where my eyes went. So this again is confirmation for Capricorns. And I don't mean to be on repeat, but if you don't know where the moon is, maybe you might want to for this year and see where you end up in 2024 at the end and how it felt. I mean, you still have time, right? We just started this new, like this new year, calendar year. So maybe it can be a goal, right? All right, so it says protection during moon cycle, which is at a time of heightened intuition as well as vulnerability. In fact, it can be used by anybody for protection against overly coarse or aggressive energies. So this just wants us to like protect our feminine and find balance with the masculine. So balance our energies, okay? But yeah, call the light, align yourself to your highest path and enjoy the illumination that follows. So that's there. And I went ahead and did a moonology card and we got the Leo energy. So we have Leo new moon and that's all about confidence. And there is a strong theme of um, solar plexus. So for Capricorns, what I would recommend when it um, comes to say Reiki or your chakras is that, I mean, obviously taking care and being in alignment for all of your chakras, but what I am picking up on in your reading is the solar plexus really strong because there is a need to really believe in yourself and self-love, self-worth, like that's coming through really strong in this reading and that is connected to our solar plexus. So, and then in later in the read, the sacral came up as well. So for, Cap for Capricorns, if I was to focus and give attention to a certain chakra so you don't feel overwhelmed, because I know this is a lot of information, but your solar and your sacral and think yellow foods for your solar plexus, think orange foods for your sacral. Uh, there's frequencies you can listen to. Just give me a minute. I have it all wrote down for you guys. So we can think sound therapy. So think like for your solar plexus, 320 Hertz. Uh, think for sacral, 288, I think it is. And bring in the fire and the water elements into your life. If you feel off right now as a Capricorn, because, I mean, you got your earth element there. So maybe some of you listening may lack fire and water in your birth chart. When I realized 
how much it helped me to know this and the balance that it brought into my, my life, knowing that I needed to bring in earth and water. I mean, it made a big difference just like following the moon. But for Capricorns, what I'm feeling is very strong, like solar sacral. So I would bring in like water. So go to the ocean, uh, swimming or go um, get a bath or whatever that is for you. Just give yourself that self-care time for balance. And that's going to bring in that like feminine energy as well. And then for um, the uh, sacral, sorry, for the solar plexus, bring in fire. So just light a fireplace or light a candle if that's what you can do or have a bonfire or, you know, go in the woods and you just do whatever you feel you want to do to bring in the fire element. But that would be a nice balance, I think, for Capricorns throughout this year if you are feeling very off. So bear with me because I want to make sure I'm not missing any of my notes here for you guys because I want to do this and do it right. Okay. Yeah, solar plexus, confidence, the moon, self-love. That is definitely a theme going on for you guys. Okay, so that solves two cards. And then the moonology is the confidence is key. So that is connected to your solar plexus. So I will go over that for a little bit, actually, because I did bring up some notes. So anybody out there, like Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, um, a solar plexus, if it's balanced, you're going to feel like a sense of empowerment. And Capricorn's balance do do have that sense of empowerment. They're very confident. Capricorns are the workaholics of the zodiacs, and I love Capricorn energy because they motivate me, and the Aries feeds off it, right? And it brings in some earthing for me and that grounding. So you will have that sense of empowerment if you're in your flow. You will have that high confidence. You will have that self-love. You will have that peace within your life. Um, and also, like, you, you, you should have good gut health and, like, digestion and stuff. Like, your immune system should be working good if you're in your flow. But if you're not in your flow with your solar plexus, then you're going to have lower self-esteem. Your confidence is not going to be as high. You're not going to feel like you have a purpose or a drive. You're going to have bad belly, probably IBS, right? Something like that. And even liver issues can, like, happen. And you may feel just always tired, right? And then your sacral, your sacral, if you're feeling off and it's your sacral, this could be like difficulty expressing your feelings or your emotions. Um, you may feel very like down, depressed even, or tense. Uh, you might not feel very creative. You might just be like, where's my imagination gone? What is happening? And you may also have a hard time forgiving and feel very resentful. So that's if your sacral is not balanced. And if it is balanced, you're going to have that energy. You're going to feel very compassionate that you're going to be able to let things go. You're going to be able to forgive and forget. And that brings me to the energy oracle. You didn't forget because Capricorns, there is an energy in your life and take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This might not apply to all of you, but there's a blocked energy as I was doing your reading that you have to let go of someone or something and they may not physically be in your life, but the memory even, like you have to be able to forgive and forget and that's going to open up so many doors for you. That's going to open up so many doors for you, okay? But yeah, so... A balanced sacral, sorry, I probably jumped back and forth. A balanced sacral is going to give you like that sensuality. It's going to give you like the open-mindedness and you're going to be able to forgive so much easier, right? So those are two things to look into. A crystal, think yellow crystals and orange crystals as well for sacral and solar plexus. Um, and the food, yellow and orange as well, like peppers, um, but I did ask the, I asked the universe for a crystal for you guys, and it came with the smoky quartz. So are your emotions blocked? Sacral. Okay, this is confirmation that there's Capricorns out there, and you guys need to work on your sacral and your solar plexus. Are your emotions blocked? Are emotions preventing you from moving forward? Which I feel energy is definitely here, and it feels like a past wound. It feels like inner child. It feels like shadow work. Like there's Capricorns there. I mean, you guys are ready to like just take off into like the, into your work, your business. Because when I get into the Tatianas and the Tarot, I'm going to go into a bit more about that because there's opportunity for like growth big time in business here in partnership. Okay. But I'll get into that in a minute because that was very interesting and it played along with everything else. So there's blocked emotion here is, is fucking up your sacral. Um, embrace your emotions both positive and negative, release anger and resentment, sacral, when it's balanced, has no problem releasing, but when it's not, it does not release. Watch your emotions be transformed into one that frees you to live and love. 
So number six is representing basically giving yourself like empathy, compassion, self-love, releasing things that need to be released. I actually want to go on Pinterest though because you guys know what I'm like. When I get a number, I go on Pinterest and whatever I see first is like what the universe wants me to know. And I should have did this in my prep, but I didn't, sorry. But number six, let's see, balance, creativity, and love. So um uh let me see there's not really anything really popping up but i think it's just about the soft love right and number six is harmony community love healing and service and service comes up very strong in the tarot as well which we will get into but you guys you got to be able to give yourself some self-love and be a bit easier on yourself be a bit easier on yourself because i know plenty of capricorns and i know how you can be on yourself right so the reading is very strong that you've got to be giving yourself that that attention and that time and finding balance. And I know it's with your energies with masculine and feminine, but it's also with your personal life and your work life. Because you may feel, some of you out there, because I have a Capricorn midheaven, so I understand the need to like work and like feel that accomplishment from it because my midheaven just kicks in because your midheaven in astrology is your work, your work drive, okay? Mine's a cat. So that's why I love caps and that's why I call you guys in, right? But you guys can sometimes forget about yourselves and it's like you are just working, you're so focused on work, but then those around you too, like you want to help them, right? Because you got that to be of service energy as well. So it's just making sure this year that you're filling your own cup and not just, um, your work or your partner or your children or your friends or your family, whatever, because burnout is going to happen but if you allow yourself to receive help and have some downtime you are actually going to achieve more in the long run than you could even imagine that's the vibe i just got and that is not in my notes all right so i want to just go over the tatianas right now quickly so the tatianas are fortune cards and i love these cards these are my favorite so we got the moon here as well they're not fancy cards to look at but they have a lot of power. They're fortune cards. So these are going to give us an overview, which is what I needed for 2024 for Capricorns. So now we got their ring. So right away, there's a feeling of relationships and partnerships. And next to the flower is blessed. It's like this harmonious, balanced relationship. It, to me, this is a business partnership for Capricorns because there's a very strong energy around business in your tarot and your Tatiana's. And it feels like a lot of you are going to be, um, if you're not an entrepreneur right now, or you're not like in a management role or something where you have that leader or you know what I mean? Um, that's, that's coming for a lot of you. If that's what you want, just trust it, believe in yourself, have that confidence, work on your solar and your sacral because that wants to come into your life, but it sees it as a partnership. So you're going to have somebody who is going to come into this with you and you guys are going to grow it together. And like, I don't know if this is going to be confirmation for somebody that you guys need to know that you can trust this person in business or yada, yada, or it's a good idea. Because I know when I was writing it, I started to get downloads and I got to go over my notes here right now. And I think it's because self-esteem may be a bit low for people right now. They're not believing in their worth. Capricorns are workhorses. You guys are amazing. Whatever you want, you can like, you can achieve. And that was the affirmation that I wrote down. So we'll get to the affirmation right now. I wake up every morning knowing I can achieve anything I set my mind to. So that's for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay. I just got off track again. But anyway, it definitely feels like a business partnership. And it feels like um, a change of address feels like you'll be moving. So this is a new energy coming in. It's not in right now. And it feels like the location, you are gonna have like a view and you're gonna be able to see nature and you're going to be able to go out and connect to nature and it may even be a part of your business. So I don't know if that's gonna mean something to somebody, but this message is very clear. And something has to end, whether it's a mindset, because there's a lot of mindset energy here as well, overthinking, thinking the worst, thinking negatively, thinking that you can't do this. This is like, there's a lot of mind chatter happening with, with the Capricorn energy. And it's like the moon is there 
the moon is going to override the negative thinking once you get to that place where you actually can see your worth again and you're like okay i can do this like all of that is just going to be like a thing of the past and you're moving on to way better energy it's somewhere with a like a nice garden or not landscaping like it looks really like the feeling I get is like you can go out and do your earth thing on your lunch break if you want to. You know what I mean? It's like you can go out and walk barefoot in seasonal or whatever if you live in Newfoundland, not right now. Um, but that's the vibe I'm getting. And it's like you look at your office window and you're like, I'm so happy here. I love it. It's like a really good feeling. But there's always a but here. Something has to end. And like I said, it feels like past. It feels like holding on to something that happened because you're not feeling aligned right now and you're not releasing and forgiving and it is interfering with something amazing coming in to your life and a level of business and Capricorns that is what you love. That's how you thrive. So this wants to come in because it's meant to come in because you're a Capricorn. You, you need this. Um, you are going to get through this. It shows like an obstacle. It shows that the ending is not going to be easy, whether it's you releasing, um, releasing that old mindset or releasing that old wound or inner child trauma, whatever this is, but it does show that you do put an end to your worry. You're in your head a lot. Someone out there, this is totally resonating. Like this, the moon shines on the clouds to override the anxiety and worry and stress because you're in your head so much about whatever this is. And I feel when the new business comes up for a lot of you who this resonate with, like you're going to date yourself and you're going to date the partner and all of this. So in order to have that trust and to feel very confident in what you do going forward, I suggest like with the solar and sacral energy being off, like that you, if you've never had Reiki, I mean, it's amazing. It's energy, like, you know, it's going to align you into your natural flow, which is how we flow with the universe and the moon cycles and all this. Like Capricorns, you got to get balanced and you got to get in your flow because there's a lot wanting to come in for you on a business level, professional level for 2024. Right, and this is a solid. This this feels like a solid partnership. It's just your own thoughts are getting in the way. Okay, but like I said, the moon is there in the card, so the moon tells me that you are going to get through it. It's just going to be a bit of a struggle. It's not going to be easy. It's going to feel like a bit of a roller coaster, but you are going to nip it, and you're going to have clearer thinking. So that is good. Um, and let's see, we got the yeah, because then when I was doing that, I got the angel of abundance. So I know it's going to come in for you guys. It's a steady flow of abundance is going to manifest, but it's up to you. It's up to you to get back into that natural flow and do the work because manifesting, I mean, it took me so many years to manifest like getting back to here. But when I look back, getting back to St. John's, I mean, from the West Coast, when I look back over the years, like I wasn't ready and I created all of the blocks and there's still an area of my life that I know I'm still kind of like not ready. So being aware just makes it so much easier as well, right? But Capricorns, something has to be released. Something has to be released in order for you to bring in success in business this year. If there's a Capricorn out there and you are struggling in business or you're not working for yourself or you're working for a company that you are like miserable or just so unhappy that your day when you wake up, you're just like, oh, this day again. Like there is, you gotta work on a mindset if that's the thing. But for some, it could be an actual person or the job that has to be removed to allow the new energy in. Like, are you going to stay at that job that you are complaining about or are you going to let that go and take a risk? Okay. So before I get into the tarot, which would be the last ones, I actually, I had to do a chakra because I didn't expect the reading to turn out to be like very like Reiki related. Okay. So I didn't even have this deck upstairs and I was like, I have to get that chakra deck. Self-worth flew out sacral. So confirmation, which is why I like using a bunch of different decks. I like using, obviously, my intuition. I like using music. I like using whatever I can to get confirmation for a client and for myself. Because when I got clients there and like three different decks are saying the same thing, it's very hard to ignore, right? So believing in yourself, finding that confidence, that stride, like walking down the street, like you own the place, not rude, but just in your power. Like that's for Cap. When I picture a Capricorn, I just picture this strong badass, like doing her thing, his thing, and don't give a shit what anybody else is doing or what they think because you know your worth. So self worth, sacral, orange foods, orange pepper, 
mandarins i don't know okay so i want to read this to you guys quickly but there's a little meditation i'm not going to do a meditation right now but if you want to do this meditation for your sacral i suggest it because it blew out so write it down or do what you gotta do but anyway so this here obviously it says here i mean how do i relate to the word deserving am i ready to allow myself to receive what others may not so you gotta really start believing in that power that is in your soul that wants to just like bust out and be creative and collaborate and yeah so faith self-love and value are the key words for this one so the meditation, and I'll read it slow so you guys, if you want to watch, if you want to write it down, let go of any tension as you fall like a feather into the salmon chair. Imagine the chair receiving you. Feel yourself being filled with salmon light. Stay there until you have received an abundance of energy from the light. So that's just a meditation that you can do to help align your sacral. And I find it funny because where's that card too that I got? Oh yeah. So self-worth, the meditation is telling you stay there until you have received an abundance of energy and you got a steady flow of abundance is coming. So I think do the meditation. I would. <laughs> All right. So I want to get into tarot. I am sorry. I did not intend for this video to be this long. I was hoping to keep these videos at 15 minutes, but I'm in Aries and I'm just like kind of chatty, especially with all this stuff. Um, I gotta give you your tarot though. And I haven't heard any lyrics yet that have caught my attention, so we'll see. All right, so right away, guys, you got the emperor. So you're meant to really step into your power, really step into that authority, that like ownership of your life. It's not over everybody else in your life. It's like you're doing you. You're being confident, you're stepping into your power. I want to make sure I didn't miss any notes. Hold on, guys. Interest thoughts. Lim yeah, and limiting beliefs. Addressing any limiting beliefs, like, in your head. Like, what comes up that, like, holds you back. Just, like, take a second when, like, be a mindful. Like, when you hear the thought and be like, okay, why did I just say it to myself? What's happening here, okay? Just try and be a bit more mindful. But, yeah, so then we got... Okay, so we got the emperor, which is wanting you to really step into your power. And for some of you, I feel there may be like, there's like a lack mindset or there's like a, well, just not feeling obviously confident enough, but it may, you have the three pentacles. So it may be that some of you may need some training. You may need a coach. You may need a mentor. You may need an advisor. You may need someone holding you accountable. You may need some schooling, right? So to help you step into that power, okay? So that's kind of there as well for some of you. And we got the two of pentacles. And it's like, in reverse, so guys, like, something, like, whatever it is, some of you got to let go of, it's, this card is telling me um, that some of you may not have a choice to deal with this. It may just happen because it's what needs to happen and, like, kind of a forced energy and just the universe really stepping in and saying, okay, this is it now, right? So just a little warning, but we got the Ace of Swords and that is like, um, the Ace of Swords is completion, like success. So it's like success of that being removed, I feel, because we got the Three of Heart, the Three of Swords, sorry, and that's removal, that's heartbreak, that's loss. But guys, like, wherever this is resonating with, I know it's hard. It takes some time to do what we need to do and what we know we need to do. But for Capricorns in 2024, my reading, something got to go. Person, job, mindset, it's going to be different for each of you. But it's your biggest block and it's messing up your belly, your digestion. You probably got IBS, diarrhea, whatever you got going on, Capricorns. But if you're experiencing this and you're wondering why you're not getting what you want in business, especially, it's because you got a big block. So, like, stepping into your power, getting that training, like, you know, letting the universe take control because it's going to. It's going to be successful, and you're going to feel that loss, but that's what you need to feel right now, and it's going to come in pretty quick. We got the Knight of Swords. That's, like, Knight of Wands. Sorry, that's, like, an Aries energy, so it's, like, it's coming in, whether you want it to or not for some of you, and it's, like, some of you are just, like, there waiting for it to happen anyway. You're just kind of, like, okay. Let it happen. And that's fine because you got so much like strong energy coming in like authoritarian. It's like King of Pentacles, businessman, you're in your power. Success. Like just doing what needs to be done 
or letting the universe take the wheel, whatever that means for you. You got King of Wands. So you're feeling like you're feeling like you're back into your flow with like your solar and your sacral because this is like being compassionate. This is a kind, kind, empathetic person, like, you know, in a partnership, in a loving partnership. And then we got the Knight of Pentacles and you're being a servant. You're doing what you want to do and you're feeling like you're in a your flow. So it can happen, but it feels like one thing for like most of you. So just one thing. I'm going to use the, okay, I'm going to use it. Okay, so yes, what is yes? Okay, so yes is back front. What is no? What is no? Okay, so no is side to side. All right, so I'm going to ask a question before I end off this, guys. All right, I had all these tools around me. I love my witchy shit. What's that? I just heard something. Hold on. I want to hear the sound. Okay. This is the sound we're going to end it off on guys. So don't start now. The, um, she met her on the other side. Wait now. I know. I'm sorry. If you don't want to see me did a full 180. Anyway, did the heartbreak change me? Maybe, baby, you know the song. Um, it's a uh, lip I think so don't start now did the heartbreak change you maybe but like your look at where you ended up I just got fucking cold shivers okay I hope I don't get censored for swearing but anyway okay is it a mindset shift for Capricorns that needs to change yes yeah are Capricorns going to be successful this year if they put in the work? Yes. Is it going to be a good year for Capricorns all over? Yeah. So yeah. So go listen to the song. <laughs> and I hope this got, I hope this helps you guys. I had a lot of fun doing this. I'm excited to do the rest. I know this is pretty long, but um I think you needed all these messages and I really, when I do a service, like I want to give as much as I can in that one service. So you leave with like a lot of information and you may feel a bit overwhelmed, but you're going to be better on the other side. That was the lyric. Alrighty, see ya.